Aloha. 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 Another amazing week on this gorgeous island. Talk to me about the talent this season. How fantastic are these artists? Well, I'm, I'll, I'll start because we keep mumbling to ourselves the whole time they walk into us, and it's gotten very loud amongst our mumbles now. We are so happy we made it when we did. Right. Because if we had to compete against some of these serious, serious singers. Uh, I know, I heard their sound checks and I was like, uh, would I have done that? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't no, no, know no. if I could do that. And I mean, I'm talking about this was 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock in yeah, the morning. My thoughts were, I'm, I'm listening to them and they're going for the big notes. And it's early. Early, early, early in the early. morning. I'm like, no, I, no, 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 don't no, waste no, them. No, don't no, waste no. them. I mean, I've just found myself not just cringing at the fact they said, Lana, would you like to go over and, and, and do something with them? Not right now. I'll wait, wait till later. I need some honey and lemon. Are you kidding me? How about some sleep? <laughs> Often we see in past seasons, these artists come on and they sing one of their songs and they express a lot of that they are only here and dreamed this because of one of you guys. So what are those moments like for you? Does it ever get old for you to hear that? No. Well, no, it doesn't, and it, and it, we don't do it from what a like. Do a, we don't do it from a real. I mean, obviously, it's very flattering, but it um, can be. It also can be a little it, tricky. It can be, yeah, yeah. If they don't do our song well, then we're like, Ugh, it's, a, but, it's a little uh, nerve, nerve wracking. You got to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, we had a guy this year. Uh, he he actually performed a song that I wrote um, oh, yeah. for another artist, but he like uh, he totally rearranged it, and we were like, oh, anyway. <laughs> And anyway, but we, uh, but yeah, that's always very, very flattering. And I think what's, what's, um, I think what's really special is no matter if the kids make it through to the next round or, or whatever, um, we always want to interact with them either way. Cause they do, they come in and they, they hold us in high regard and we really appreciate that. So if they don't make it through, we want to make sure that they leave the experience going those were those were nice judges, and they got great. Um, we gave them great um, constructive, criticism. constructive criticism that could take them to the next level and prove us wrong. And then the ones that do go through, for them, even if they sing one of our songs, for them to come get their golden ticket, and it's a big, it's a fun experience for them. And we uh, we get caught up in the moment with them. So cool. Uh, Ryan, I want to ask you, one of the mentors this week is Tori Kelly. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I specifically remember sitting in my living room watching in 2010, seeing her come in and audition. I remember Simon not taking kindly to her and saying she was, you know, her voice was annoying. Here she is now back. <laughs> she is a mentor on this show. So for you as a host, being there and <coughs> seeing someone come this full wow. circle, what is what is that like? Yeah, so she was 16 back then when wow. she was on the show, and she's gone on to be incredible, do incredible things, and develop a massive following and fanship. And I think for her, it's really surreal to be back, but so well deserved and so right. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, she deserves to be there, and she knows what she's doing, she knows what she's talking about, and the contestants really bonded with her and connected with her, and they got a lot of good feedback. So I love it when that happens. She was I mean, we have a lot of 16-year-olds. I think yeah. now, back then, we didn't have so many yeah. younger contestants. That's a, a, a newer thing for the show. Yeah. So she uh, she made an impact on you and a lot of people, and yeah. she deserves to be on the stage. And a Luke Jelly Roll, big country right, right, right. star this year. Uh, what is it like for you to see Jelly break through country this well, year? Well, to watch what Jelly Roll has done to the world and the audience. I mean, listen, I, w I would challenge anyone. No one is more busy in the world of music right now than all the things that Jelly Roll has going on. It's a great kudos yeah. to the show, and we're really honored when people like uh, Jelly Roll and Tori Kelly come back and and help these kids out. It, it, it tells the audience that um, this show has a real connection to the, to the artist community, and the artist community are watching the talent that's coming out of this show. And it tells us, I mean, whenever we have um, even like on our finale nights, and we oh. have these huge lineups, yeah. these huge lineups of these uh, real huge global stars that come back and perform on our finale. So it great. makes it a makes it a night of music. It actually competes with, uh, you know, other big award shows. Yeah. You guys go back to your hometowns this season. Very cool. Uh, Katie, what was it like for you to revisit your hometown with this show? 
Well, I live there, so I was <laughs> like, let's make some noise, but not too much. <laughs> um, it was so awesome because I'm so proud of my hometown. I'm a third generation Santa Barbarian. Um, I was there before the gold rush, oh. uh, before everybody decided to move there. You're and right. I claim it, and I just had such a beautiful, you know, humble upbringing, busking at the farmer's market for $20 and some mangoes and some avocados. Mangoes, yeah. We walked down that same street. We did auditions at uh, the Music Academy where I took vocal lessons. My mom um, whooped Luke and Lionel's buttocks in pickleball. Uh, oh, come on. We just got a whooping from my 76-year-old mother. I let it happen. I let it happen. Lionel, Lionel. Um, you were being she generous? I was just giving the, come on. In pickleball, the, and it was so fun, and I got to take him to dinner. On, Luke, All you like know. the fun things, you know, I showed off my town, yeah. and I'm just always just like, guys, come on vacation, I want to hang out. And then we drove in my moke, and it was just like, it was so cute. <laughs> that is so fun. How about for you guys visiting? You took these guys on the Flint River, I heard. I took them on the Flint River yeah. in a jet boat, and they trusted me. I don't um, know if I trust I, it. I'm not sure they up. I think I was contracting. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think they even up their life insurance policies. Yeah. They didn't even do that. But, um, but yeah, to have them come to uh, South Georgia, where I grew up, and see my little town, see, um, see some of the original early venues that I used to come home and do concerts. And then, oh and then to God, see. Oh, my God, and you fed us a meal? Uh, By the way. No, no, but he, but he brought people. in the pot. We had, we had authentic oh, southern, southern, like oh. at one point, Katie was like getting, you know, very oh. intricate fried chicken lessons. Yeah. They, they, this beautiful <laughs> older lady named Catherine actually. Very good, you remember her she, name? Yeah, she very was good. taking uh, just the breast and it was like literally six to eight minutes each piece. And I was like, really? I thought it was just like a flash. And she's like, oh no, honey, let me tell you. I knew, I and knew then, we were in the right place when she said, baby, <laughs> sit took, down and let me feed you. I said, we're in the right place. I don't but, know um, what happened here. We, we had a great day there. And, and to see my high school and to walk the halls of my high school was, uh, saw my, my high school drama yeah. oh, teacher was, who was a huge influence. So it was a great day. And I was, like I said, I was amped up to be there to host them. I feel like I should start calling you Pop Pop now. Oh my God. I didn't know that was your. Oh my God. Pop Pop. Another mouth to feed, Lionel. Pop Pop is out here now. I, I mean, my baby is having a baby. How about it's that? It's so wild. It's so wild. It was just the other day. But I must tell you, she is so happy. Elliot, they are so happy. And they're the cutest. They are the cutest couple together. What will you sing to them? My first song is Hello. It's great, yeah, to, it's great to see you. <laughs> and I'll, I'll close with Ballerina Boy. Or no, girl? no, it's got to be not all night long because you go to sleep <laughs> no, early. Yeah, yeah, so you could do a lullaby version. No, it won't be all night long. Okay. Not all okay. Night. What is your best parenting advice to them? I uh, hand the child to uh, the parents. <laughs> 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 because. To if, you? If you my, I think we should roll the tape back on last season when you changed the diaper. Well, guys. Was it flawless? It, it was not flawless. But, the but word flaw was it, in it. It was, it was flaw all over it. But no, <laughs> the thing about it is there's no humbling experience in life That's in right. changing a diaper. There is, I don't care whether they call you a superstar, they call you, oh my God, this is. Then dad, a we're all human. Go over that and change the diaper, having a child and thinking for a moment you're going to be important in that yeah. household. No, it's yeah. about the baby. Yeah. Uh, Katie, what is your parenting advice to new moms? To new moms? Oh my God. Give it to us, Katie. You, parenting you advice to new moms? Well, no one tells you about the first six weeks where you're just constantly <laughs> rocking in the same corner every single day and the schedule, you know, just like let someone take care of you. Because I'm such a caretaker, you got to surrender because you're just giving so much energy. And yeah, you become number two on the call sheet and it's just so beautiful. <laughs> right. Soak it all in, you know, preserve that moment. Like. I had my daughter during COVID, which was terrifying, but also beautiful because it just got to be our little unit, and, you know, and I think pre that it would have been like so many friends and family and blah, blah, blah. I think that time is so special, you'll never get it back again. So just like, you know, quarantina. That's such good advice. I totally agree. Uh, I know you said recently uh, your daughter's here, tongue is Daisy's. 
Oh, oh yes, yours? it is. Right? That's so funny. Uh, the Katie Cats, you know, are anxious to know. What can you tell us about new music? New music? Come um, on, Katie. Give us a anything. hint. Oh, goodness. Well, one day there will be some. <laughs> there we go. <laughs>